So I'm in the airport, ready to go back home, and I'm gonna tell you the reality of solo travel. The reality is- Right, hello everyone. I am so tired, I've been up since like five, but this is the first ever time I've been in a hostel, and I was really anxious by it, I'm not gonna lie to you, like really anxious, but now I'm here, I feel really like sound. Everyone has been so friendly so far. I've met one of the people in the room, she was so nice. Yeah, this is the gaff, what do you think? So I right, it? This is me down there. This is the bathroom. Looks like a bathroom. We've got the toilet. We've got the kids' toilet. Right. <laughs> right, I'm off to bed, but I'll see you tomorrow. Look at this, even got a bloody Hoosmox box in your finger so you can charge your phone while you're asleep. Everyone's got one of these. Got a little Avengers sat. Bloody oh, ass, bright. Oh my days. Good morning, everyone. I slept beautifully i'm not gonna lie which really took me by surprise and i'm quite i'm quite happy and uh i'm looking forward to exploring today this place has got loads of things like it's got a bar 24 7 it's got, it's got this garden here oh it's just beautiful really nice holy shit this is beautiful oh my god look at the backdrop there's a big mountain if you know me i love my natural stuff not my man-made stuff i'm not really into the cities and stuff but yeah beautiful Oh, look at the lonely little swan in the lonely little river. Fucking hell, he's, he's right. He's doing a lot of dance with the way. Also, later on, any Star Wars fans, you're going to really fucking love this vlog. Yeah, that's nutritious. But yeah, you're going to call me posh if you smoke salmon. Yeah, but it is 50% off, otherwise I won't be doing that. Absolutely, this is needed. Why the fuck is Stuart Little on there? What's he doing with the cheese? Get off me cheese. One thing I do wonder is like, when I was growing up, I'd like, if you're English you'll understand this, if you're not, then you won't. When I was growing up, I'd go on holiday to like, Blackpool and uh, Haven Parks, you remember the Haven Parks, they were fucking mental. Obviously like, you know, same country holidays. So for Italian people, is this like Haven? Is this like, go to Blackpool for the weekend? I mean, if it is, I might have to raise my family in Italy, because this is really nice. A park with no one here? Oh, you know what that means. No, no. Yeah. I'm not gonna even try getting that thing. Look at the size of it. I haven't seen many places like probably the most exotic place I've been is like Magaluf, maybe Tenerife. But God, I am not taking any of this for granted. This is so fucking ace. Is it here? Yeah, it is. I recognise this. It definitely is. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh my days. I think I'm realising the main benefit of a solo trip is I can just stay and look at something for as long as I want, like this. It's so nice to just sit here, even though the sun's in my eyes. I suppose if you was with someone, they could get bored and then you have to sort of compromise. But here, you can just do whatever you want. Having said that, I don't think any of my mates would be bored of this anytime soon. Like, look at this. Oh, bloody hell, I wasn't even at the right bit. It was this bit, innit? Oh my God, look at how... Wait, is it this bit? Oh, I don't know, it all looks the same, but that is beautiful. That is... Beautiful. It's very nice. Oh, yeah. Anyway, check this out. These are a Romanian snack. And basically, it's just a massive pack of crave. Look, they, they are literally, right. It's literally crave. But if I walked around with a box of crave, especially in Newcastle, I'd like a right cracker. But you can just eat this and it just looks like you're having a bag of crisps or something. It's absolutely amazing. So far, this is the highlight of the trip. Not this, who would want to see this shit? As much as taking it all in though, my mind does just go to things like, how the hell is there house there? How did that get there? My mind also goes to things like, has anyone ever played Catfish on the Bottomman here? Does anyone here know that Catfish on the Bottomman are headlining Rhythm and Leeds? I doubt it. You know what, let's make the first ever Catfish on the Bottomman at 
wherever this place, this this thing. For the first ever time. Oh no, they're coming back. Fucking dead. The <laughs> fucking dog in the background's ruining it quite a lot. Right, this is when things take a bit of a turn. So I met a lovely girl in my hostel called Mac, and she introduced me to a couple of her friends. We all got a little bit drunk together. I mean, how could you not? The wine was literally less than two euros a bottle. And it soon went from getting a little bit drunk to very drunk with a lovely gentleman called Hoana who was from Finland. So the footage you're about to watch is a result of that. <laughs> But yeah, big up Hoana, man. Like, what a dude. And thank you so much for getting the video, mate. Like, I really appreciate that. Do it, you have to do it the, uh, the, you know, the... I this way around, yeah. Okay. That's the way, uh, that's the sure. YouTube way. Uh, can I, like, mm. turn it, like, this way? Oh, which other way? One of the, yeah, one of the two ways. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, babe. <laughs> Fuck. Oh! <laughs> hey! There we go, yeah. It's like a Jaeger bomb with yeah. an orange bar. Oh no. What about if I tried to get the orange in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> no way. I, no, it's only a little. Only a little for the uh, <laughs> okay. Couple first. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. It's gone. Fuck it, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the chest? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> Why is it in a milk? It's oh. fucking cheap. <laughs> what did you expect? This was two euros. This was one and a half. <laughs> so. I had a good night. I want the onions go to bed. God, I am hungover. That was not the turn of events I thought was gonna happen. But I'm glad it happened. I've had an authentic hostel experience when I need to head to the train station and I'm off to the next place. It's another place around Como, but there was a certain reason I booked it, which you're gonna see later, hopefully. Oh, I can still taste the remnants of those pizza cheese balls. Change over cancelled. What a piss take. That adds half an hour onto my journey and does not help with the anxiety because will my ticket even be valid on this one? I've got absolutely fucking no idea. <coughs> oh, no. Just got a message from Juana saying he's very hungover this morning. <laughs> Good to hear I'm not the only one dealing with it. Uh, what a guy, man. I'm really happy I met him. Although his favourite Kanye West song was Lift Yourself. So, not too sure about that one. I probably smell like ass right now as well. You've probably noticed I'm wearing the same stuff every day. I did not pack enough clothes. And it was colder than I thought it was going to be. This is well nice. Oh, it's, it's probably what you lot think you've already seen, but oh my god, look. Is that out? Bollocks, why is everything bloody closed? <sighs> Yeah, I was fuming as I am, aren't you, mate? Yeah, I've been to funeral piles with more energy than this Mackey's. It definitely doesn't seem as much of a traveller place, this place, which is good for an authentic experience, but I don't think I'll be having a very social night like I did last night. Chicken mayo tastes like ass here as well. Right, here we are, guys, the highlight of the trip. I'm so fucking ecstatic to be here. I'm gonna be going up there, but even from here, look, look at that. That is absolutely insane. God, it's not the it's not the usual ecstatic vlog, but just know that I am so happy right now. Look, <laughs> there's not many people here. Like when I say, I mean, there's, there's literally no one. There's a few cars. Oh, this, no, this is not looking good. I close. Oh, close until when? Oh, no, come on. What the 
What number even is that? Well, it's definitely not an eight, and today's the 27th, so it should be open. Is it open? Oh, for f You are taking the piss. Oh, yeah, that's great. Literally, the, the, the one thing I came... The main thing I came all the way here for, and it's closed. Can I walk up there? Nah, that's a stupid... Little hike, little hungover hike. It's what Huana would want. <laughs> Can I? Surely not. I'm not built for I'm hungover as well. There's no way I'm getting up there. Oh dear. If I die, it was for Huana. I don't really like it though at the same time. Is there, is there bears in Italy? Nah, fuck that. Sorry, Juana. Sorry to let you down, mate. Uh, there's no way I'm doing this. It like, I mean, the trail goes down for one. It looks like I'm walking through like Slender Man or something. Oh shit, that's the bus I need to get. Uh, uh, ah! 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 Come here! Come here! This is this is the most peaceful thing in the fucking world. It's got to be. This is. Amazing. I bet the water even tastes nice here. I probably should have done that. There's people fishing. There's probably fish. <laughs> Obviously, I suppose looking at it is only part of it. Like, if you was here, you'd probably go for little cocktails and go to, like, all the nice restaurants and stuff. But, well, who cares about that shit? Like, this is what you're here for. I don't need to do all the other stuff. I'm just happy to come here and look at it. And I kind of have to because I'm on a budget. So, <laughs> this is what I'm paying for. Here we are. The next hostel. With any luck, it'll be just as nice. And hopefully the people will just be as nice as the last one because that was an amazing experience a very ikea looking but it will do i reckon the hardest part of solo travel is probably the evenings because if you're somewhere like milan or somewhere where it's really lively there'll be loads to do but i don't imagine there's going to be loads to do here it's quite a secluded like place beautiful absolutely beautiful place but like doesn't it doesn't seem like there'll be lots going on later I think that's the only thing about coming so late in the year. Like, yeah, it's colder, not as nice weather, but it also, like, it just it gets dark so quick and there's barely any sunlight. If you was in summer, it wouldn't be dark until, like, 10 p.m. and there'd be the most beautiful sky, but, like, here it's, like, 5 p.m. and it's already getting dark. So I'm just going to chill in the hostel, probably end up having a little drink later, and I'm going to eat my lovely Frollinis. Let's go have that drink, it's needed. Ah, Gretzi, thank you. What in Rome. God, that's such a poor effort. <laughs> I didn't even finish it. By Lisa 2024, I will train myself to down an entire beer. Maybe it was the beer, I don't know, but I've got a new lease of life and I've realized I'm only here once. This is a fucking dream. Loads of people would like be so buzzing to be in this situation. So I'm gonna go explore. I'm gonna find something. Maybe I'll be back again, but not anytime soon. So I'm gonna get a lovely pizza and find something to do. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Um, this smells fucking amazing. Oh, that does not look like average takeaway pizza. I need to run to sit somewhere to eat it before it gets cold. Oh, there's nowhere to sit. I'm just gonna go on the floor. Here we go. Ciao. Oh my god. That's better than the one where I did the fucking best versus worst bit. <laughs> that video was a piss take anyway, so it don't really matter. God, that is beautiful. Alright, I'm going to go enjoy this in peace. Bah. So I went to explore, but there was literally nothing to do apart from look at a few Christmas lights. But it was still a nice way to end the day before heading off for an early night. This hostel definitely wasn't as peaceful as the last one, but I still got a decent sleep. 
I am ready to go home today though. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. It's going to have to be fresher day four. Oh, that's bad. Great success, I like. See, I did really want to go up there. That's a little observation thing up there. But it's only open on a Sunday. That's a bit dumb. I suppose if you're going to go on a little trip, do a bit of research on when everything's open because a lot of stuff has been closed for me. Well, that's only my own fault. Farewell to the most beautiful view I think I've ever seen in my life. On to the next one, I suppose. Then I headed back to Milan, which I enjoyed a lot more this time around. I saw a lot more cool stuff and a lot less designer dogs the size of a mini cheddar. My favourite thing was probably this church decorated in bones and skulls. It was pretty cool. And as you can see, I was pretty blown away by it. I was having a really nice day until I came across these smug little shit that were way too happy for my liking. But then it was time to head back home. So I'm in the airport ready to go back home and I'm going to tell you the reality of solo travel. The reality is it's really fucking cool. It, like I have had such an amazing time. This has honestly given me so much confidence All because passengers I've met some really cool people this trip and made some unforgettable memories. And it's just very empowering to go away on your own. Would I do it again? Yeah, I would do it again, but I would definitely invite some of my friends because I just think like a lot of these experiences for me personally I would enjoy more with some of my friends from back home there and it would be great to reminisce on these memories with them in the future but at the same time don't wait around for other people if you really want to go somewhere but none of your friends do just do it I understand there's a lot of anxiety around it I was so anxious this the, the first night when I was going to the hostel I was so anxious I, I kind of wanted to go home I'm not gonna lie but I'm so glad I pushed through and it has been amazing so yeah I'm ready to go home. I just want to say thank you so fucking much for watching. Like, if you're still watching at this point, you are a real one. That is ace. It's absolutely crazy to think, like, I've met some of you now in person, which is, like, it's so mind-blowing. And I, I love it so much. If you've come up to me, oh, okay. So thank you so much for watching these because I'd be doing it for myself anyway for the memories, but the fact some people really enjoy it is so cool. And you, ha you are literally making my childhood dream come true. So yeah, that's all from me, and I'll see you later. Why would they have bottles of wine for £1.50?